Meanwhile, tonight, we're spotlighting the long delays in people getting their test results. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler with the story of a local woman who waited so long for her results, it cost her thousands of dollars. As the new year approached, Cami Denton wasn't feeling well. The airline pilot tested positive for COVID using a rapid test, so she went to the Hillsborough County testing site in Plant City. It was a PCR test. They told me it would take two to three days, and I just waited and waited, and <clears throat> they never were coming back. The two to three days turned into eight, and although she was tested on December 31st, Cami says it wasn't even processed until January 4th, and she didn't get results until four days after that. The PCR did come back negative, but the delay ended up costing her about $3,000 in lost pay. To get paid for the trip that I missed, I needed to turn in a, a positive PCR result, but I didn't have it to turn in, so it ended up being just you know my own personal time off. I talked with the Hillsborough County Health Department. They say they did hear from a handful of people whose test results were delayed, and they have yet to figure out what went wrong. They do say they were isolated incidents. I don't know if they took too many tests in, more than the lab could handle. They allowed too many people to come through. I'm, I'm not sure what happened, but it was definitely a, definitely a fault there that they couldn't process what they took in. Cami is feeling better now and flying again, but she says she's heard from others who also had issues with their employers because of the delay. Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.